Hi everyone, this is Jana, and today I'm going to be making a card using Simon Says Stamp March 2016 card kit. I've already picked out a few pattern papers and a few die kits and arranged those on my work surface to help me plan my card design. I have a tag here, a stitched circle, and also a stitched rectangle die, and I plan to do some die cut layering on this project. First I'm going to die cut the stitched rectangle. It's the second largest die from this stitched rectangle die set from Simon. I'm uh, using my Artisan Explorer machine today, which is a smaller one, so that's why I'm cutting around the die to make sure the paper fits inside the machine. I have my bigger die cutting machine sitting on the floor, and I don't want to reach out for it, as it's too big to fit in the video frame, so I'm using my smaller machine today. But it doesn't really matter what machine you use, as long as it die cuts, you're good to go. Next, I used the same rectangle die and trimmed the circle. I could have cut it using my paper trimmer or scissors, but I wanted my circle to have the same faux stitching everywhere. As I was cutting, I realized that my die cut tag doesn't really fit here as this particular design doesn't have any faux stitching on it. It's just plain tag. So I grabbed another die from Simon and die cut that another tag that has faux stitching and trimmed it in the same way as I trimmed my circle. I'm going to set my papers aside for now and going to talk a little bit about my stamped peeps. I've stamped them ahead of time before I started filming this video. I used Simon's Intense Black ink for the outlines and Twirling Tutu for the light pink peep and Duckling for the yellow peep. The dark one was stamped using Hollyhock, but I won't be using it for this card. I have another card idea plan in mind that I'll be uh, making later. So I'm going to use matching dies and cut those out. The peep stamp set, matching dies, and pattern papers are all part of the March 2016 card kit from Simon. So I have my peeps die cut, and I'm going to add some sugar on top. Okay, not sugar, glitter. The only glitter that I found in my stash that worked for this was this one from Martha Stewart. I've had it for years, and I don't even know if it's still available or not. But any nice glitter is going to work for this. Clear glitter or yellow glitter for the yellow peep and pink glitter for the pink one doesn't really matter. You can even use chunky glitter for your peeps. I've um, actually went through my stash later and found a bunch of other glitters, uh, some from Martha Stewart and some from Doodlebug, and I used them to cover uh, a couple other stamped peeps and those work fabulously. I'll be sure to share that other project later. So I'm using my glossy accents to adhere the glitter today. I'm generously covering my peeps with glue and adding lots of glitter on top. I'm going to set them aside and let the glossy accents dry. While they're drying, I'm going to go back to my paper layers. I've created an A2 top folding card base using cardstock for my kit, trimmed a panel of patterned paper that's just slightly smaller than my card base, and I'm going to adhere it on top. I'm using foam adhesive squares and adding them to the back side of my stitched rectangle, but I'm not adhering it just yet. I will be adding some string later, so I need this panel loose for now. I'm going to adhere the semicircle and also foam mount the tag to create some additional dimension here. I'm overlapping all of these and creating layers. I want this to be a layered card. I also have this strip of patterned paper. I'm going to fold it and adhere to the top of the rectangle as a little tab, just something a little extra. I also want to add some white string to this card. I want to tie it around the rectangle, and this is why I didn't adhere it just yet. So I'm threading my string through the opening in the tag, and I'm tying it into a bow. And once that's done, I'm going to adhere that onto my card base. By the time I finished doing this, my peeps were all nice and dry, so I foam mounted both of them onto my card, I doubled up on the adhesive for the smaller peep to lift him up some more. Then I made a huge mistake of stamping the sentiment onto the partial circle and of course it didn't stamp well because that element was foam mounted. So I had to think of something to cover up that mistake. I used the same stitched rectangle die that I used to make my white rectangle. I die cut another rectangle out of yellow patterned paper. I used the smallest uh, die from that set this time. I stamped my sentiment in black ink and foam mounted that over the mistake. In the end, I think that looked even better. I think the card needed a little pop of yellow, so I'm actually glad I made that mistake. Now I also added several sequins for my kit to dress up this project. I used my Multimet Medium Adhesive from Ranger and that finished my card for today. Here's another look at this project. Lots of layers and dimension and some fake sugar on my peeps.
Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have lots more card making videos using stamps and dice from Simon, be sure to check those out as well for additional inspiration. Thanks, I'll see you next time, bye!